One of the questions that we get a lot is how come we don't print directly to the yard signs or the car magnets? And in this video, we're gonna give you an idea of the reason why we don't do it like that. And the short answer is that we do not own a digital printer. And the reason is because the difference in pricing, a digital printer costs more than $5,000 and a vinyl cutter will only cost you around 1800 if you go for a graph deck. But you can find vinyl cutters for as cheap as $300. The purpose of a vinyl cutter is like the name says it, you have to cut the vinyl with it. And let me show you something real fast up here. We have all the different vinyls in each color separately. That means we have to use the cutter, the vinyl cutter to cut each color individually. And then we have to apply them to either the magnet or the yard signs. And for that, we have to use a transfer. And in this occasion, we're gonna be using the R-Tape Clear Choice AT75. Before we start with the project, here's a tip that I wanna give you guys. I will never get tired because I know that this is really important. I don't want you guys to waste any material and that's the reason we keep repeating it in every single video. So you better get used to it. No, I'm just kidding. All right, this is the way we align it. Make sure that you follow the little alignments here that you guys see on the vinyl cutter. I mean, each vinyl cutter is different, but this is how you will align it with the graphic, okay? Just make sure you pull some of the vinyl to the front and then we use the setting here, number one. But first I have to lock it. And setting number one. And this is what the vinyl cutter will do. If you own a graphic, just see how much the vinyl moves. If it doesn't move much, it means your vinyl is aligned and you can send a big design and you don't have to worry about the vinyl moving out of the, uh, the cutting area, okay? Here we have our magnets. Uh, we run out of the white background magnet what we have to do or we had to do we have to uh, use the plain magnet uh, we're gonna have to add the white background using just regular vinyl regular white oracle vinyl like i told you guys always make sure you add your weeding boxes too to make it a lot easier to weed out when you are working by yourself and you're about to see the weeding boxes in action, okay? See how easy it is. We're just gotta be careful with our registration marks because we're gonna use those to align our next layer of vinyl. And I added some, um, I forgot what it's called. I added some- um, Outlines? Yeah, some outlines, but I forgot the word they use in the software. Um, Contour, yeah, contour. All right. Okay guys, now we have all of our vinyls ready. Now the next step will be to apply our transfer, the R-Tape Clear Choice AT75, okay? Now, if you guys don't have plenty of hands, there are always tools that you can get like the uh, transfer, the tape transfer application roller. I always say it wrong, but here's an image of that, a picture of it, and you can get it in the description as well. And the cool thing about the, uh, the tape that we use, the transfer, is that even if it wrinkles, they're not as bad as when you are using the, uh, the art tape, the AT60, the low tag ones. We're ready to apply our decals to our magnets. The magnets are 36 by 20. We already centered it and took all the measurements. And the way we're gonna apply it, we're gonna do a wet application. We don't wanna end up with too many bubbles. That's one of the questions that we get a lot to, how to avoid getting bubbles. And the only way to avoid them is using a solution in this case, we're gonna be using Rapid Tag for that. Okay, and we're just gonna spray a little bit, not too much, we are gonna go easy on it. But, um, and to combine or to apply the other colors, we'll basically do the same steps. Okay, yeah, we're gonna spray just a, uh, not too much, just like that. If you guys decide to do a wet application using the Rapid Tag, or you can also use water, uh, or a solution with water, which will be 90% water, 10% alcohol, or rubbing alcohol, and you can 
put a couple of a, a couple drops of soap if you don't have the rapid tag now it's time to remove our tape and just put it on the side we'll keep using it it's only been a few seconds not even a minute and just wanted to show you real fast how like it doesn't take very long all right we're getting closer to the end of the first layer of vinyl after this we can apply our next layer which is the red color and uh, we are going to do the same method we're going to apply it with rapid tag but we'll just spray a little bit less than we did previously all right now we can spray just a little bit of that solution that's it and then we can use the registration marks i know that uh, we have our registrations and probably no need to apply uh, the uh, rapid tag but we just wanted to show you like when you you can use the both you can use the uh, the recessions and the uh, the rapid tag now i'm going to squeegee all the rapid tag out we can apply our next layer we haven't taken the uh, the transfer from the red color we just want to let it sit there for a little bit now i'm going to spray some of that uh, rapid tag and align it manually and uh, this is how we're going to do it okay we're getting to the last part of the uh, or the last layer of vinyl that we got to apply all right perfect see we did it by using the rapid tag we were able to position it perfectly here hopefully the uh, the camera will capture every detail and again it's only possible if you either do rapid tag or if you use the registration marks once we finish this one we will have to make another one just like this and two little ones so we'll be back in just a minute with the end results of the whole project not that you guys know the difference between a digital printer versus a vinyl cutter this shouldn't stop you from investing money or starting a business with just a vinyl cutter and you can eventually upgrade to a digital printer as the business grows thank you guys see you until the next video uh, let us know any questions you may have and we'll get back to you thanks give us a like subscribe and see you until the next time